and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I'm so grateful and I thank you for stopping by for your December reading. We're going to go ahead and get this reading started here. Now I do ask if this resonates with you, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, we're starting off with the Magician. Very nice, right? Number one. Woo, snap. Then we got the Moon. Okay. Trust your intuition. And then we've got the Six of Earth. And I do not read reversals, just in case you are not familiar with that. It's first time here on my channel. All right. Wow. You know, Six of Earth is all about receiving gifts, right? Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, generosity, prosperity. So um, <clears throat> it might be with this magician, you know, you're looking into new, some new beginnings, right? And, and you need to trust your intuition, We've got the Nine of Swords, High Priestess, very nice. Look at the Major Arcanas here. And the Ten of Swords, okay. Let's see what we have here. Let's make sure that you're all in the window here. You are perfect. All right, so let's start off with, with the Magician. Um, basically, number one card, right? You are ready. You are ready to move forward, Leo, yes. Um, and then you've got this nine of swords on here, right? Well, nine of swords, you know, you could be a little bit, have a little anxiety with moving forward, right? No need to worry though. No need to worry because you've got you know, the high priestess. You've got the moon here. No need for you to worry. It's just time for you to manifest and move forward. See how the monkey is kind of looking around? Little high anxiety, little, little, um, you know, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? You know, maybe a little afraid of, of change, but it's time. It's time for you, Leo. And I know you Leos don't like change. My husband's a Leo. Do You do not like change, right? <laughs> but it's okay, right? It's okay because the magician is going to help you, going to turn that vision that you have into reality, whether that vision is work-related, love-related, or just overall energy, right? Just overall for your life related. It's time for you to move forward. Then we came up with, with the moon. The moon is all about trusting your intuition and changing, right? Releasing fears and moving forward. Release those fears like this monkey and move forward. With the high priestess here, holy crumb, she's got intuition also. She trusts herself, right? This is beautiful that you've got these two, um, you know, these, these, actually you've got three, but you've got these two lined up together. And then look, you've got one, two right here. So if this is love related, you've got one, two, right? So that kind that kind of helps move forward any type of relationship that you're looking into, um, into starting. High Priestess, she's all about, you know, her intuition. And same with the moon, right? The moon is all about the, about the intuition, right? Moving, trusting your intuition and changing. And then we've got Six of Pentacles. All about giving and receiving, right? Look at, she's making, she's giving, right? She's taking from hers and giving to others. She's making room to accept, right? Take out, remove what does not working for you so you have room to, re to receive, right? So you have room to receive. Now this Ten of Swords here, you know, it could be, you know, just like he's tired, right? He's done. He's, he's tired of anxiety, he's tired of being depressed, and he's tired of working forward. So we're going to go ahead and um, clarify these cards. So we'll see exactly how this ties in with this. But I see with your top row here in the High Priestess, things are going to move forward. And you are ready, Leo. You are ready to have them move forward, right? The ability for you to manifest them is wonderful. With all this intuition that's coming in here, it's beautiful, right? You can make the changes. So start thinking. If you don't know what you're going to be changing, start thinking about what needs to be changed. Oh, snap. Then we've got the temperance, right? Look at all of these major arcanas. Holy carambola, right? Um, temperance is all about balance, right? Look at, and he's pouring one into the other. He's giving, right? Just like six of earth over here is giving. He is giving. He's being patient, King of Swords, King of Swords, King of Air, powerful counselor, strategic thinker. He's a leader, just like you, Leo. You are leaders, right? We know that. Oh, crap. 
Now we've got the death card. Now the death card, what I'm going to say with this death card, because we've got this anxiety, anxiety going on over here. It's the death of anxiety. It is the death of whatever is not working with you. And it's time for you to be open to receive. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this death card one more time. But I'm feeling that we've got major changes going on here, Leo. Major changes going on, right? And it's time to remove all that anxiety, all that all that nasty stinking thinking, right? Because you're beautiful. You're beautiful, Leo. All right. Let's give me one more card to go ahead and clarify that death card. Let's go put this one right here. Oh, snap. Double moons, right? Double moons. Okay. So trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. That's all I have to say about this, Leo, is trust your intuition. Start something new, right? You've got the number one. You've got the number two. You've got all these major arcanas. You've got one, two, three, four, five major arcanas, right? It's time for you to move, Leo. Trust your intuition because whatever you decide to do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be right. Right, you see here, I don't know if you guys can see on this particular moon card, but you've got a dog here and you've got a dog here. You've got, um, you know, you've got the crab. They're all moving up. They're all moving forward in between these two gates. So you can go ahead and move forward. Oh, this is wonderful, Leo. Let's get one more card here for Leo um, to go ahead and so they can start this new, whatever it is they decide, this new magical life that they have. Right? That's one last card for the new magical life for Leo. Overrate your intuition. <laughs> Dang, somebody else just had this card too. Might have been Scorpio or Libra. Overrate your intuition. And that all these cards, not all, most of these cards are all about intuition. Right? Listen to your intuition. So, Make your, listen, I'm telling you, Leo, listen to your intuition. I know sometimes you have a hard time doing that, but listen to your intuition. Follow what is coming into you. Ask your gods and goddesses, how can I go ahead and move forward? What do I need to go ahead and do, right? Trust yourself and trust your intuition. All right, Leo, you, this, is, this is wonderful. You guys are going to have a fabulous December. And I love you all. Namaste.